Hi viewers, in this video we are going to uh, discuss about the integration in the module uh, microprocessor and control we have finished. So this is what uh, the PLC programmable logic controller we are studying. So in this how the computers and other electronic devices are getting integrated with the manufacturing environment that what are all the important uh, uh, things we, we are we need for the automation system that and all we are going to see in this program uh, in this video so first of all uh, we know uh, in industries nowadays all the industries are uh, using the automation systems so what is automation that is uh, to reduce the human effort if you are going to do some uh, in integration that's what we are going to integrate some electrical electronics devices and with some uh, set of uh, computer control programs so this all are getting integrated uh, to use the automation system in an effective way so here you can see normally in industries uh, suppose for example we can see some machines are arranged in a sequence uh, cnc machines or nc machines are there and the robots are going to be used for keeping the material inside to the machines or pick and place the machines uh, pick and place from the conveyor belt to the machine and once the operation is done uh, then it will remove the component and keep it in the conveyor belt so uh, agv automated guided vehicle which can go around uh, the path and it will uh, supply the materials for the process and uh, the completion and in uh, completed product it will take it and go for the uh, output right so out uh, stations like uh, this is what uh, a normal industry now uh, the automated fully automated industries are going are uh, arranged in a manner so how it is it can be operated and what are all the things are needed for this so integration of uh, different uh, computer as we said what is the integration is uh, integrating other department the other programs that's computer and electrical electronics uh, all the devices to get a perform work task to uh, complete your task so here uh, we can convert uh, the actuators uh, there are some basic concepts of actuators we have you know actuators are the one which is going to convert one form to another form which the energy electrical energy to mechanical energy or hydraulic energy to mechanical energy so actually mechanical for mechanical we need the rotational or linear movement so the rotational movement or linear movement how it will be done with the help of some different actuators so here manual actuators which is a lever and jack screw jack suppose i want to move an object uh, to a higher attitude or so i can use a jack a car uh, it can be lifted or an yeah, object can be lifted with the help of manual jacks or it may be a hydraulic or electrical uh, actuator jacks and uh, these are all the things which can be uh, used for so actuators are the one which help for the making the works easier when uh, with the help of the uh, some different mechanisms so here mechanical actuators are the one which is having some all mechanical links and it involves the gears it involves pulley it involves cams chains and all so uh, a, a form of energy is converted into another form a rotary motion is converted into another rotary motion or linear motion and uh, a, the distance it, it can transfer it is used for transferring the motion from uh, one to another and uh, conversion of one form to another this all it will be helpful for the uh, thing you can see examples if i say that uh, chain belt drives and gear drives for conversion of uh, motion or uh, transferring the motion from one place to another place by and by increasing the speed reducing the speed these are all the help uh, helpful uh, mechanical actuators and the cams again the rotation is converted into different profiles through the different profiles timers can be changed the movement of the uh, movement of uh, what is that we can say the followers will be moved in a manner that how we are going to uh, make the caps so this is what how it is the cams are going to be function and uh, we are having the um, 
camps like um, different motions and the belt linear belt uh, closed belt and open belt which is going to change the direction of the uh, motion and it will be shifting the place the distance from one place to another so this is can be done with the mechanical actuators and pneumatical pneumatic actuators and hydraulic actuators are there which that also it will be used the medium what type of medium is going to be used the hydraulic actuator uses uh, hydraulic oil which for high pressured or high load applications so pneumatic when compared to pneumatic high uh, hydraulics are going to be actuated for uh, very highly high load uh, operations so uh, uh, uploading uh, by, by that for the hydraulic jacks uh, where we are lifting the heavy vehicles it will be used and because uh, the hydraulic is uh, unable to compress but uh, air is going to be easily uh, compressed so here for heavy loads it uh, hydraulic actuator is the best uh, thing it is, will be used oil pressure according to the oil pressure it will be used we can see a single acting cylinder double acting cylinder and a tandem cylinder that where we can use the uh, piston to move uh, in from one direction by applying oil in one direction or oil in both the direction it can be reversed that can be done with the help of this uh, hydraulic actuators and the electrical actuators are uh, just um, electrical motors which, which are actuated with the help of the electrical powers and motors or solenoid or the relays these are all electrical actuators so how uh, the solenoid will be activated uh, with the help of uh, when uh, a coil when a current is flows through a coil it produces the emf the electric electric motor force uh, then it, it creates the magnetism power due to that uh, emf and the magnetic field we, we will say as a magnetic field that which will move the piston up and uh, either pull down or push down uh, that can be done because of the magnetization so when uh, this is can be done the plunger or the piston can move by uh, in either left or right or up and down so that which can be used for closing and operating of uh, valves okay the valve seat we can set it with the help of solenoid it can be operated move up and down can be done when electrical power is supplied so this is uh, one type of actuators which is electrical we call it as electrical actuator which will be useful for uh, different operations so solenoids and uh, relays uh, this is what the uh, simple electrical devices which is a clean form and uh, operator where it is it will be used where it's a clean environment and all so that it will be helpful for operating the flow of uh, liquids in a proper way uh, so with the help of the electrical uh, and uh, hybrid is a combination of uh, two or three control system mechanical as well as electrical electronics uh, combined thing so hot water liquid is used along with the electronic system for the control of the valve so this uh, sometimes actuator used in the uh, different methods uh, hybrid actuator we called as hybrid actuators where two or three combinations of uh, actuating mechanisms can be operated in a single actuator so this type of actuators hybrid actuators hydraulics pneumatics and electrical actuators which are all helpful for the uh, the circuits right so next we will see about the uh, what is a robo and what the different parts of the robo and all so now fine in this video we have uh, studied about the integration backgrounds okay fine